Tight line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and today we're at Galvis Hardware. I invited a few good friends over, and we're going to share some recipes with y'all. You, you ain't going to believe what we're cooking. Chicken cordon bleu, grilled mushrooms, grilled peaches, red fish, cubion, Cajun beer burgers, cupcakes and pastries, Louisiana hot wings, bacon wrapped green beans, grilled tilapia with crawfish and crab cream sauce. Yeah, Cajun living and cooking is fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all, got one of the first hit cooks here, Joey Laborde from Prairieville. How's it going? Oh, great, Rodney. How about yourself? Doing good. Glad y'all come out here to help cook today. Oh, yeah. Hey, you don't mind helping out and give us a little treat of uh, what we cook on uh, tailgate parties, uh, little Thanksgiving dinners and stuff like that, Christmas, what we do every year. Share a few recipes. Yes. Now, tell me what you're cooking. Uh, just regular old chicken wings, drumettes and wingettes. Uh, take the wings and all that, cut them all up in just little sections. And then uh, you fry them to 350 degrees or a little bit better. You know, if you want them crispy, fly, fry them longer. Yeah. If you want them more juicier, just less time. Just make sure you cook gotcha. that internal temperature of now, 185. Now, you season the wings or not? No. No. They're bare naked. So naked wings cooked in the grease. Yep. And then you're going to take and? I'm going to take them out, kind of put them in a paper towel, get the grease off, and then I'm going to dip them in our, what we call our wing sauce uh -huh. and basically all it is is one stick of butter and a uh, 16 ounce of crystal hot sauce it's Sounds. simple and it's a uh, every everybody seems to love it it's that's really a good easy. flavor that, that yeah. crystal hot sauce flavor. yeah don't use tabasco i don't use i use tabasco on other things but right crystal right. seems to be the best flavor gotcha all right fellas y'all taste them and see what you think good old wings remind you of football baseball and basketball and yeah and chicken they're good. uh they're good, they're good? Mm -hmm. really good make you want to just eat the bone. Huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what you think? Very good. All right. I could eat the bone. Good job, Joe. Yeah. All right, y'all. Got another one of the cooks here. My buddy Tennessee from Dutchtown. And uh, how you doing this morning? Oh, man, I'm doing beautiful. You look like you're doing really well. It is looking kind of beautiful this morning. This is uh, this is not your grandma's bacon wrapped green beans. <laughs> not your grandma's. Boy, not that looks something there. Now, uh, so anyway, tell me, tell me, the, tell me the recipe to this. Well, we actually started yesterday with uh, a little marinade. I mixed up with some Hungarian paprika, garlic, garlic uh, powder, and some uh, black pepper, and a little bit of soy sauce, and let them marinate overnight. Uh huh. There's a little cayenne pepper in there. Got to put a little of that. That's your, not your grandma's green beans. <laughs> 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 so anyway, we're throwing those together, and there's going to be a little uh, honey mustard dipping sauce to go with them. Yes. I like the way you fry that crisp crisp on that bacon. You know, and we were just talking about that. There's a trick when you're doing this. Yeah. Is when you're rolling these up, you have to tuck those bacon ends. Oh, they the off green and... beans so it doesn't try to unroll. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Now we got them raw. We got them cooked. Right. I see you got some pineapple out you know, here. We got for, some pineapple out there, and we put a little bit of Blanchard seasoning blend on it, and more that little brings it out. Pineapple with a kick. Pineapple with a kick. Not your grandma's pineapple. <laughs> well, cool. I'm gonna let you keep on going, and we're gonna check back with you from Do time that. to time. We'll have it set up and looking good here in a minute. Thanks, man. All right, Tennessee. Those have been a hit. They are looking pretty good. You know, we're, we're throwing a little curve into here. I think I'm, I'm lagging behind smelling my neighbor's cooking over there. <laughs> so uh, so we stuck in a little applewood smoked mozzarella. Ah, you done kicked it up a notch. Kicked it up a notch. I had that in my back pocket. Do I so see what the competition looked like? Yeah, you saved some stuff back. You always hold back. Break out. You know, yeah. break out. Somebody could break out Tasso at any given moment. That's right. So we're breaking out the uh, applewood smoked mozzarella, and I think that's going to kick it up a notch. Gotcha. Gotcha. I, you you don't have too many laying around. As soon as you cook them, everybody comes to eat them up. 
Uh, that's, that's the way it goes. <laughs> it's life in the cooking that's life right in there. The cooking lane. All right, bro. We're going to check back when you cook some of them mozzarella ones and get a taste they're, they're test on that. going in the oil here shortly. I'm wrapping some up. Awesome. We'll be back to check. I'll be here. Is that the cheese? This is the, yeah, the applewood uh, smoked mozzarella. All right, y'all. We're doing a little cross-taste test pollination right here. Now, Tennessee's pineapple wrapped bacon. Tiffany's going to try that. Yes. And Tennessee's going to try her drunken Cajun burger. And you want to cut it in half on me? Now, pineapple wrapped in bacon is, uh, I think, illegal in about seven states. <laughs> uh, eight, eight now. Eight now. Yeah. They just Tennessee just did it. <laughs> All right, all right, she's going for the burger. Oh, it smells sweet and savory all at the same time. Yep. Yeah. And what we have, boy, these look good. That's here. a good old burger. There. That's my drunken oh. Cajun burger with drunken red Cajun wine. Drunken Cajun burger? Yep. Drunken Cajun burger with all red right. wine and all kinds of stuff. Here we go. Ready? Cheers. Do? Cross taste test pollination. Oh, mmm. Mmm. Mm. We uh, don't. Uh, he got mmm, two ums of honor. Mmm, mmm, mmm. We don't need a bun. All we need is some Bisqueen and Wesson oil. <laughs> Go with that burger, man. That's good eating, huh? That's good eating there. Mm. And, the, and the pineapple, the pineapple and the bacon. She's speechless, and she don't want to swallow it. It tastes so good. You seen it right here, y'all. That's good eating. That's good eating. All right, y'all. I got another one of my buddies here, Tiffany Terrio from Baton Rouge. That's it. Now tell me what you cooking today. I am cooking my world famous drunken Cajun burgers. Yes. Yes, and now, it's it's now, a special recipe. Okay, now is that something you invented, or was that handed down, or? Well, if somebody else has already invented it, I don't know about it. Gotcha. So, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> it's something I just came up with in the kitchen, you know, a long time ago, and I tried it out a couple of times, and you know, I think I had one person eat, I think up to six of them at one point. Yeah. Well, tell me, it's tell me how you do good. it. All right, the secret is, you got to have some alcohol. Uh huh. And you gotta have some jalapeno. Gotcha. And I, I, I take a, a really good meat, like a like a ground round, and then I mix it in with like a really nice pork. I got some uh, pork from Leblanc. Uh huh. And um and the and you just you saute all the, all of your onions and your celery and your bell pepper, all, all all your Trinity vegetables. I throw in a little garlic, make it the Holy Trinity. Uh huh. Uh huh. And you saute that, and then you cool it off with some alcohol. Oh. Don't put the alcohol out of it. It'll let that happen inside the burger. Gotcha. Now, and a little special seasoning, you know. We, it, we got a couple of special seasoning blends. This oh, is, secret, secret, this is secret seasoning right here. right here. You gotta have that. And then, uh, use some of Blanchard's. Yep. All right. Use some of that, and then uh, it, it's and it's so good. You don't need to put anything else on the burger. The bread, the meat, and you're good. Got it's it. It's that good. It's got that much. In it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you can do it. Oh, yeah, oh, I see what you're talking about. Oh, cool. Oh, it's a cedar plank for like it. Take it out. All right, what you got in there? All right, I got I, this batch. I added a little Vermont white cheddar cheese. All right, in it. In it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Now that's a wheat roll. This is a that's wheat a, pistolet. Okay. And I just popped one off the grill. This is the complete and total package right here. You don't need mayonnaise, mustard, or nobody need, on that. This is this is this is a complete meal. Let's let him taste it and see what we got going. Let's see. Let's see. He's he's got a smile going. He's tasting. It's really, you don't need anything on it. It's mm -hmm. good. It stands alone, doesn't it? All it's right. So like, it's not dry at all. You taste the cheese. Mm -hmm. I had some kind of uh, seasoning. That that garlic you make is uh -huh. what makes it. That's what sets it off. I believe that garlic flavor. And, and you taste the wine, the red I wine. Do. I do. That, the red wine. That's my favorite part. Well, we got Elaine wanting to try one too. Let's okay, see if we can right, make her let's, one. Let's, let's make her one. Hold on. And it's just, I mean, this is the perfect party food, too. Yeah, easy. I'm going to give you the recipe. Easy, easy. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll put it on the website. Yes. yes everybody can to. have it. You need to, because everybody in Louisiana needs to be making a drunken Cajun burger. All right, here we go. Come on in, Elaine. This is Elaine from uh, Civic's Restaurant. This is a drunken Cajun burger. Drunken Cajun wine. burger. That's a good way to start off a Saturday morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give her a taste test and see what she says about it. Mm. 
Now she makes her own burgers over there at Civic's. You taste all them crazy flavors in there? I missed all the, the beginning, but it's all. Oh, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's it's all the Trinity vegetables. Actually, what what we call the Holy Trinity with the the onion, the celery, the bell pepper, the garlic, add a little parsley, and I sauteed all that, and then I cool it with with red wine. I don't cook the alcohol out, and then I layer the meat, and it's got it's got beef, and it's got some pork from the blanc. It's got a little breadcrumbs, just a, 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 a one egg, just to kind of keep it all bound together, and then a little bit of a family secret secret recipe right there. Secret season. Tell that one. And then, I, call, I call it the pixie dust. Yeah. Oh, and, then, and when we come back, orchards. I'm gonna show you what's really going on. And that's it. Just when you thought you had the best. There's better. The new Hustler Raptor, heavy duty welded steel deck, professional grade cut quality, premium Kawasaki power, all from just $27.99. The new Raptor series from Hustler, tools, not toys. Come get your Raptor Super Duty today at Gotro's Lawn and Garden in Gonzales. Hole in the Wall Seafood is your one-stop shop for all your seafood needs. With seasoning, sauces, dips, and trays. Local A Meat River Catfish when in season. Dungeness Crab, Shrimp, Frog Lake, Soft Shell Crabs, Alligator, Scallops, and Fresh Cooked Cracklings. Crawfish season is now in full swing. Come by and get them. Live or bought. With prices that can be beat. At Hole in the Wall Seafood. Dana, we have a flat. That's okay, Weezer. We'll just call Ed's Tire Service. Ed's Tire Service has been in business for 27 years. It's a 24-hour roadside service for on-site repairs. No job is too big or too small. So remember, when you're having tire trouble, Ascension Trolling Motor is owned and operated by Carl Singletary, offering the only Minn Kota Warranty Service Center in Ascension Parish. He not only works on all makes and model motors, but offers pickup and delivery. If you can't take it out of the water, he'll come to you. On-site boat lift, boat trailer repair, small fiberglass work, and gel coats. He sells refurbished motors, parts, and accessories. He's also a certified welder and mechanic. Here at Ascension Trolling Motors, our mission is to keep you fishing. And now, back to the show. All right, y'all got another cook, my buddy Bear, from down the road. Right. Appreciate you coming on and do some cooking. Sharing a recipe. Now tell me what you're cooking. Ah, uh, it's redfish couvillon. Redfish couvillon. Yeah. Now how'd y'all get the redfish? Uh, my boys went with uh, Marsh Masters down in Grand Isle uh -huh. this weekend. I mean, this, this week. And they uh, went bow fishing, shot oh, some really? fish, yeah. Tore them up. Yeah, they limited out on redfish, caught some, killed some sheephead. I think they had four big gar too. So. All right. Well, tell me, uh, tell me a recipe. I know you got your roux started in there. Well, just a classic old Cajun recipe with okay. roux, onions, the trio, onions, garlic, bell pepper, celery. Gotcha. Uh, some rotel tomatoes, some tomato sauce, some water, and just put the fish in last. So they don't break up. So they don't break up. Gotcha. Right before you're ready to eat, put the fish in. They don't take long to cook. Now, where you learn this recipe? You've been cooking this a while, or no. uh, old buddy showed you that, or just something uh, you've been doing? I want to cook something different one day, so I cooked a shrimp creole, and it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna let you get back to work, and uh, right. we're gonna check on everybody else. And uh, sounds good. I'm gonna check on your progress. Look at there. Look at there. We're moving man. along, y'all. All right, bro. You ready to put the fish in, huh? Yeah. Rice yeah. finally got cooked. Man, we had some trouble with that rice. We don't want to tell you how much trouble we have with that rice. A breaker blue. I never blue. knew it would be so hard to cook rice in a rice cooker. In a rice cooker now. That's amazing. Now, we fixing to add fish. I think he's got about 10 pounds of fish we're putting in here. Redfish and sheep's head. I think it's mostly redfish. Big old pile of fish. And they caught that this past week, bow fishing. That's a lot of fish. We done lost the bow fisherman. Let's get him in here. Come on in here. Now tell me about the boat fishing. Y'all y'all tore them up? Yeah, we were on an airboat and we just go in there and they come swimming by and you just shoot them with the boat. Come on. And you could get five each? Yeah. Five? We limited it out. And then we shot three big old gar. Really? Like five foot. Gar. I bet that's a fight. Yeah. How long did it take to reel in a redfish after you shoot him? 
Well, you can't use the reel. You have to use your hand, but it takes like it's not long. Yeah, he's, he's kind of stunned. Yeah, most most of the time they don't fight much. Was you shooting him in the head? Yeah. All I right. Shot one in the head. <laughs> That's some pretty good chunk. Oh, how much they weighed? That was big fish? Yeah, they were pretty big fish. Oh, y'all went with? Marsh Masters. Really? Y'all had a good time. Yeah, You'd go really back. More be good. Huh? I hear you. Now you got the fish in there. Now how long is it gonna take now? Just cook this down maybe five minutes and we'll be ready to eat. All right. We got rice. We actually have rice now, y'all. Yeah, Look, rice. Awesome. All right. We're fixing to do some serving of some of this. About five minutes. It's already turning white. It's just about cooked. All right, y'all. We're fixing to plate some up. Hang on. All right, y'all. got some more taste testers. I'm going to get their names. Sharon Philippe. Cheryl Scott. Casey Philippe. This is Bear's family. That's who this is. It's the worst critic she got right here. So they tasting it, and we're going to actually see what's going on. I know Bear cooks all the time for y'all. All the time. He's always cooking something up good, I know. He is very good. Ball good? We good. got one good. We get one good. Excellent. One excellent. <laughs> very good. All right. Good job, Bear. Another fine job on the redfish Kubion. Thank y'all. Thank you. All right, y'all. I got another cook here. My buddy Kyle Blanchard from Pier Park. How you doing today? Doing good, bro. Glad you came out today. Oh, I'm glad to be here. Now, uh, you are the owner of Blanchard Season. We yes, gotta, I am. We got to say that out front. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, tell me tell me what you're cooking for us today. What recipe are you going to share? Uh, I'm going to share grilled tilapia with crawfish cream sauce. Yeah. If you look back a few episodes on the show, I cooked it in a Pierre Park cook-off, come in second place with it in the oh. seafood division. Yeah, and we didn't get to talk too much about the recipe, to, so this time right. we'll get to see it. Be able to do it. Now, tell me what you do. Let's get an overview on it. All right, what I do is I'm going to grill uh, grill the tilapia on the cedar planks on the uh, grill, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to go ahead and in my saucepan, I'm going to go ahead and Take uh, I got my onions and my crawfish, heavy whipping cream, Philadelphia cheese. We're gonna put that in a pot, get that going. Yeah. We'll try to. Uh, now, about how long it takes to make that sauce? Uh, not long at all. Probably 15, 20 gotcha. minutes. Gotcha. You, you brown your onions or whatever, yeah. and then you add. Yeah. Your... You, uh, all you gotta do is saute your onions, throw your crawfish in there, and stir it up. Add seasoning to it. And then throw in your heavy whipping cream and your Philadelphia cheese. Gotcha. And you just gently put that over the top of the tilapia. Right. You're making me hungry talking about this. <laughs> oh, that's good. I, love I can it. picture it in my mind right now. Well, I'm going to let you get back to work, and we're going to check on your progress. All right, bud. Appreciate it. Back. What are you going to do now? Uh, gonna, put gonna, a stick of butter in the pan okay, and make, make another. the crawfish cream sauce. We got our onions, bell peppers, and the celery. Now we're going to throw our crawfish in here. All right, y'all made it back over to Kyle. He's uh, at a crucial point here. Uh, tell me what we're doing. Right now, we're going ahead and putting the heavy whipping cream in and the Philadelphia cheese. Okay. So, uh, okay. Add this. Whoo, that's thick looking there, man. That makes a flavor like nobody's business oh. right there. That uh, that cream, and then the Philadelphia cream cheese yeah, from Philadelphia. Philadelphia. That makes it even thicker. I like the way you measure. Yeah. Just a little <laughs> here, a, a, a little bit here, a little bit there. And I definitely got to use the Blanchard's blend. Oh yeah. You ain't cooking. If you uh, if you're cooking, you gotta be using Blanchard's blend. Gotcha. You was telling me some of them boys went and used some of your seasoning and uh, won a few contests, huh? Yeah, the last couple contests around Pierre Park has been won with Blanchard's blend Cajun seasoning. All right. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna bring this back, or you gonna come back to a ball, or you? Just yeah, gonna... I'm gonna. It's gonna heat up, come up to a ball, and then I'm gonna simmer it down for about 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, Kyle, you ready to put it together? Oh, yes, sir. Great. Now, this is the uh, tilapia, just come off of the planks, grilled. Man, I can smell that, bro. That's creamy looking good stuff right there. Yeah, it was, it was starting to be a little bit runnier than what I wanted it to, so I had to add a little bit of flour to it to thicken it up. Oh, okay. Now, that's, that's crab, crawfish. It's just crawfish. It's got heavy whipping cream, butter. Oh. 
Gotcha. Onions, bell peppers. Hmm. Now, if you fit to start a fight out here, putting that out, they ought to be going crazy over that. Oh, man. Breaking out the fork. We're going to get somebody to taste this. We're going to get somebody to taste this. We got the man right here. Here's the man who will taste it for us right here. Now, here's some more he got. We're fixing to decorate a few more. Bear is known for eating crawfish. And since he's cooking fish already, so what the heck? Might as well taste fish. Got a mouthful. He can't even say it. He got thumbs up on that. That's a good job, Kyle. It's good? Gotcha. All right, bro. We're going to let some other people sample it, bro. This is rocking right here. This is good eats. All right, y'all. Got another cook here, Kia Green. And you're from? Originally Miami, but my dad is from Louisiana here, and his name is Philip August, so I'm from Miami and Louisiana. I gotcha, like gotcha. <laughs> now, I met Kia through the hardware store, and we got to talking about food, and come to find out, she is a great pastry chef, y'all. And uh, she does stuff out of her house, and you'll bet to see her phone number on the bottom of the screen. Uh, and we got talking about food, and I said, well, we're throwing some stuff together and sharing recipes. Come on out and share with us. Uh, yep. So, won't you share with us what you brought today? Okay, well, I did, um, everything is homemade, nothing came out of the box. Gotcha. Um, uh, but this is chocolate chip cookies. I did mini, so I could stretch it. So I did some mini um, chocolate cupcakes uh -huh. with uh, buttercream icing. Those I, look good. I did a 7-up um, cake that I cut in a zillion pieces. Wow. Um, I did red velvet cupcakes with the cream cheese icing, and I did oatmeal raisin cookies. Sweet. Yes. Uh, that red velvet something now. That's You got to get one. I, I'm going to have to taste that. Yes. I'm going to have to taste one of those. <laughs> now, yep. uh, you do uh, stuff for people. You do different occasions. You bake for people. You do weddings and all that kind of stuff. I haven't done any weddings yet, but I do bake for people. You uh -huh. know, whenever someone needs something for a birthday or just because or gotcha. having a, a gathering at their house or my family is doing something, a gathering for whatever holiday, I always bake. And a lot of times I say, you know what, I'm not going to bake anything this time. I'm just going to cook and bring something. And I always bring something baked. <laughs> always. And never they always fails. count on you now probably for that too. They do. They do. All right. Well, yep. I'm going to let you get back. Uh, we're going to do some more checking on some other cooks, and we're going to come back, and we're going to taste some of this good stuff, y'all. Yes, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Gavis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week, cooking demos on Saturdays, and customer service that will help you get the job done. Marlin's Pizza has two great locations, one in Prairieville and one in Santa Mall. Dine in, carry out, or delivery. That's right, y'all. Seafood delivered free to your home or business. Shrimp, oysters, catfish, and frog legs. They also have po' boys, spaghetti, fried pickles, homemade onion rings, salads, and 100% pure beef burgers. Marlin's Pizza Dough is made fresh every day. And this is the only place you can find the La Mex Pizza. And oh yeah, y'all, don't forget about that seafood muffalata. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp. Groceries, fresh produce, beer, hoghead cheese, hot or mild, hot cracklings, and ice. Homemade smoked sausage, mild or hot, daily and weekly meat specials, 21 day aged steaks. We can also process your deer. Come on down to Junior's Meat Market and check us out. Have you ever run out of money before your next paycheck? Car quit running? Electric bill due? Time to pay rent? If so, call Quick Cash of Gonzales. Let Kim Cruz Paraloo get you back on track with a payday loan. Quick Cash has been giving $50 to $300 loans since 1996. Most loans are approved in 15 minutes or less. Family-owned, fast and friendly service. Remember, when you need cash quick, call Quick Cash. Located in LeBlanc's Plaza near AutoZone on Burnside.
Hey y'all, usually I'm not doing much cooking. Well today I'm doing a little cooking. I'm doing a chicken cordon bleu. What I'm doing, I got boneless chicken thighs. We're gonna put some bacon on them. We're gonna put some ham on them. I'm gonna have some grilled onions. It's got cheese on it and spinach over it too. I'm also gonna be grilling some mushrooms, these fancy looking mushrooms. We're gonna put some uh, grilled onions on that. And I got a little sneaky little recipe. I got, I got some peaches. I'm gonna grill some of them. We're gonna put a little honey and a little bit of olive oil on there. Put a little salt. It's gonna be really neat. So I'm gonna get to cutting up some of these onions and getting this stuff going and I'm gonna get mine. Everybody else is already cooking. I gotta catch up. So y'all hang on. All right, y'all, I got the cordon bleu done. We're gonna cut it and see how nice it looks. Maybe we can get somebody to taste it. Notice I got those sanitary gloves on. Let's see. Chicken cordon bleu. Let's get a look at it. Oh yeah, we gotta get somebody to taste that. But I'm also grilling some peaches. Now what I'm gonna do, I got a little olive oil. You sprinkle a little olive oil on them. Come back and put a little honey. Dribble a little honey. I guess not too much. We're gonna grill these. What I'm gonna do is, uh, once you add the honey to them, you put a little bit of salt. It calls for a pinch. So I don't want a lot on there, just enough to give it some flavor. Just a little shake. And we're gonna put these on the grill and we're gonna see how they look, so y'all hang on. All right, y'all, I got Vanessa out of the store. They got her out a few minutes. They've been busy in there, but she's gonna test the cordon bleu and I'm gonna try one with you. Get you one of them. Let's see what it tastes like. Is it cordon bleu? Cordon, cordon. Kind of cheesy. What fruit? Man. Man. Good flavor though. Mighty good flavor. That's amazing, Roger. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I would eat that again. There it is, chicken cordon bleu. Well, grilled peaches, Donna. I know, I'm ready. It's peaches with a little olive oil, a little bit of salt, and some honey. So let's try one and see what we got. I just posted it. Everybody's coming over. Warm, it's warm. Man, it's that's like a little pie. That's juicy. A peach pie. It's got to be good for you. Just a little bit of honey, a dash mm -hmm. of salt, a little olive oil. Can't be too bad for you. I really you. like it. Next time you're grilling, try this, y'all. This is pretty cool. Awesome. All right, y'all. We had a good day out here. That was pretty neat, huh? Oh, my God. Lots of food. Great what, food. What was your favorite? Okay, I was torn between the uh, Cordon Bleu and the Cuvillon. The Cuvillon. I, I like the Cuvillon. I like the wings. That pineapple wrapped in bacon oh, was something. Oh, it was good. The green beans Man. And the, wrapped in the bacon. Oh, my God. That was good, y'all. That was good. Hey, thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking, and check in next week.